regarding the motor with no voltage and no output. First, let's check the carbon brushes for wear. Are they worn? Remove the carbon brushes. Inspect them for wear. If the brushes are too short, they need to be replaced. If they lack elasticity, they also need to be replaced. When reinstalling the carbon brushes, be careful. Do not press them directly in. Instead, place them in and press down. As you press down, ensure the alignment hole on the motor's rear cover fits onto the pin. Hold the carbon brush in place while securing the locking bolt. Take care during installation. Press the carbon brush. Another possible reason for no voltage and no output could be a faulty circuit breaker. To inspect it, open the panel using a Phillips screwdriver. After removing it, you can see the specifications of the circuit breaker. When replacing it, make sure to use one of the same size and specification. Reconnect the wires exactly as they were before disassembly. Tighten all screws securely. In addition to a faulty circuit breaker or carbon brushes. After removing, we can see if such problems arise. Must be replaced during replacement. When replacing it, make sure to use one of the same size and specification. Reconnect the wires exactly as they were before disassembly. Tighten all screws securely. In addition to a faulty circuit breaker or carbon brushes. Generator no voltage, no output situation. Apart from a faulty circuit breaker. And damaged carbon brushes. There may also be demagnetization of the motor. Or other issues such as motor burnout. If such problems occur, depot repair is required.